guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and bringing to episode 57 of I Cut Two Friends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> you don't want to know why I'm shaking my head. Some people do know why I'm shaking my head because I've talked about this to them a couple, of, like, uh, two days ago, but... Uh, but I wanted to do this uh, before 58 comes out tomorrow. Because 58 ain't coming out until like the wee hours of morning. And I don't think I'm going to stay up all night. Tomorrow, just to wait for that. I got to stay up to like 10 ish, 11 ish until a uh, freaking attack on Titan. Tell the friend. You know, you need clothes and accessories and passport. Don't forget that passport. <laughs> mm -mm. I, I need still figuring hers out. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's I know we're talking about. I know gonna do fine. I know always does fine. I mean, she's main character, so it's gonna be okay. <laughs> You know, I mean, it would have been nice to have everybody go, and I do mean everybody. Not to leave anyone out. <clears throat> oh, and I found out a couple of days ago um, that the rest of the girls are getting their jewels too. Honey Cat has theirs, and Reflect Moon has theirs. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Thank you, because that's all I wanted. I was like, if we go 25 episodes into the second season and they don't get theirs, like, I'm just going to be, oh, I'd be pissed. Very, very pissed, Mama. I mean, I was already pissed like a couple of weeks ago with their centered episode, and I was like, they're not gonna get theirs until last. It is gonna irk me. Well, she's been so busy that she hasn't had time. <laughs> You gotta be prepared for everything. Why don't you make a list? Mm -hmm. 
So you're going somewhere where it's cold, so you're going to need warm things. So boots, no pants, um, coat, scarf, mittens, hat maybe, the basics, like if you were going camping. <laughs> oh yeah mittens not mittens what's the thing oh my god um these are mittens this is like a oh, earmuffs here we go so when it's night for you it's day for them mm -hmm. and when it's day for you it's night for them For <laughs> 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 me, Yeah, but since Alicia knows that you guys are coming and you're technically banned. Thanks, notifications for Facebook. I just can't imagine this conversation that is going to happen in episode 58 for tomorrow, or technically really for me, Monday, but girl, I just, I don't want her to stress about it. I like, I'm kind of stressing thinking about it. It's just, uh, cause what if she just says no, like get out and they're barely even going to be able to step out, step like a foot out of the freaking airport before they're like, Hey, you can't be here. I'm guessing, like, since it's going to be a month, they're probably going to do it in, like, two, three episodes, maybe, for them to all be together. Because I'm guessing Love Me Tear is going to have a little teeny tiny bit of this as well. So, maybe Wakaba might be with them. Wendigo, I don't know. Or Wakaba and Mirai and Karin might already be there by the time those things get, those things get there next week. I don't know. I ain't going to know until I watch the DA.
Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I mean, you do not have a passport, don't you? Go to the bank. I mean, you can get a password from the bank. Like. Yeah, you have no passport, you can't go anywhere, basically. That passport is technically your life. Or lifeline. More like a lifeline. That is stress at its finest. And you have to worry about so many things. I mean, you know, this could have been like a class trip, and they could have gone all together. But then I think it would have been too much people for Lucy to handle, so, yeah. I just want episode 58 to be out, like, right now, right after I edit and upload this, and just be like, hey, here's 58. That's fine. You are working your butts off. She 
technically has a sweater, scarf, and mitten. I don't think all that's gonna, yeah. Uh, Yeah, can't forget that. She'll be fine. She'll have me out with her. Now, see, it makes me think with however long this arc is going to be, which could be two, three, or even four episodes long, I'm guessing it's probably going to be about like two. Um, are there going to be performances for these, like when they see each other? I mean, ugh, if they're also trying to make fans there, yes. If not, I mean, the biggest mission is for PB and Alicia to talk. Um, and then doing the music stuff is just secondary, but, like, of course, it's Aikatsu, and you can't have Aikatsu without idols and dancing and singing and ish, so they're gonna, like, I'm hoping that they work something into maybe episode 58 and 59, if not, and they just kind of have, like, two weeks of no singing, that's fine, too, but honestly, if I know the show, like, I know the show, I've watched this show for, like, this series for ever since 2012, so they're gonna do it. They just didn't do it for when Stars and OGI Tattoo, like, did the crossover, when, um, Luminous came in. Luminous ain't do no song, but Soul did a song, which was weird. I mean, like, how are you gonna have one group sing and then the other group not sing? Is that just telling us how popular they are between the two? Which... I mean, one is clearly popular than the other, even though I like both, in my opinion, but, yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all, <yo>, puppy. <laughs>
一九九Please let their feelings come together. That's all. Let them become one. Not like that, but just strengthen more bonds. as friends. Don't let this end in an eyesore for this next part. Please, I swear to you. I got you, bro. There she goes. Gone for a whole month. Or, you know, you know what they could do? Go back and forth between them and then the rest of the girls, and I think they might do that. Because <laughs> I can imagine one episode... Focusing on Mio, Aine, and Hibiki, and then 59 going to um, Honeycat and Reflect Moon, and then back to sit, no, 58 to 9. Yeah, 60. Um, could possibly focus on um, back to them. I think so. I mean, but the episode was good. It's just, you know, the biggest thing. Thank God she got that passport. She got to learn about the country and everything that she needed, all of the fertilities, her like accessories, everything. And she's ready to go and just have a nice, hopefully, simple conversation with this girl. But of course, in the world of Aikatsu, it's not that easy. You can't just literally go up to this chick and be like, hey, I'll have a conversation with you. That's not going to work. Not in this world. Like, you know, mm -mm. you guys. Yes. <laughs> layers upon layers upon layers to talk to Alicia. And of course, I don't think the conversation is going to be nice at first because Alicia is this very important person who is, no matter what, she's going to say no. And it's going to irk me, but eventually all those no's are going to lead to a yes. And when it leads to a yes, we're just going to all be happy and that'll be it. And then she'll finally come back to her other home. Of course, she will play with the show. <laughs> okay, number one. Let's just say this real quick. Why in the world are <laughs> are I freaking Mio? They're in their <laughs> in their gym stuff, and it's cold as heck outside. You gonna be wearing gym stuff and it's cold outside? Like, girl, no, 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 no. no. We don't do that. It, it's too cold. Like, you at least wear um, layers if you're going out for a run or wherever. Like, wear some freaking layers. Y'all are just wearing one layer. And it has to be freezing cold outside. So, I mean, come on, girl. Come on. I mean, think about it. You've seen stuff on television. I know y'all watch TV, so layers upon layers upon layers. <laughs> but I understand, yes, you can't bring everything with you in that tiny suitcase. <laughs> you gotta be moderate. But, like, I'm really excited for this. And to see um, both he Hibiki... And Alicia, you know, reunite for like what the second, third, fourth, fifth, twentieth try. Again, I'm just hoping that because she now has 
Aine and Mio together with her, he be, I mean, not he be, he, Alicia can't say no. I mean, of course she is going to say no because, yes, she is the princess and she's dealing, puppy, hold on. Oh my God. Um, she's dealing with, oh my God. Okay, fine. Lick my hand. She's dealing with very, very, a lot of certain things and titles and duties as a princess because she is the technically almost head of the household. Um, and then her brother, after she, you know, eventually possibly dies, her brother will be leaving. Or if she was like, okay, I'm going with Hibiki and I'm going to be with Hibiki, that's when her brother will start to roll. My thing is, where the heck are her parents during this? I mean, typically between this show and Pretty Cure, um, if a character has parents, they'll show them. But they won't always do, they won't be in every single episode because once again, the episodes are not focusing on the parents. It's focusing on the main characters, which are usually the teenagers. But since we've never seen Alicia's parents, like not only Alicia's, but Hibiki's, what the heck is Hibiki's parents during all this? And I, I just got questions. And I'm hoping that the conversation is just, it's not too, too heated between the two. And especially, I know Alicia is going to be upset uh, uh, this hand puppy um a lot because of what's going to happen in the next few weeks or possibly maybe all in one episode they could do with this in all one episode they could do this in two episodes or even three but um don't overstretch it too much that's the one one thing that i'm hoping for 58 if they have to stretch it stretch it until 59 and then 60 they all come back home that's it i don't want it to be five episodes if this is an equivalent of a month it should be about two to three maybe four just if they're gonna stretch it like a little bit not a lie but if it was like five full episodes of them just being in this country observing it being in the culture and stuff because like the way it kind of looks it kind of looks like the town of uh, uh, arendelle and frozen a little teeny tiny bit but like i mean I, I, you know you're there for the kids and stuff and yeah and trying to get Alicia to come with Hibiki and Bon, their friends unit. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 57 of My Katsu Friends. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for episode 58. Bye, guys.